today, oh, it's just a bit of soil, um, today we are going to pot my varicosines. So we have learnt how to choose a cutting, we've learned how to propagate, now we're actually going to pot. So I've decided that this beautiful varicosin is ready to pot now. Um, I've propagated it in water and I've just covered the stem with water. I haven't gone too far up towards the leaves. I've just made sure each node is covered in water so that it can root. Now I've decided that it's ready because as you'll see this long root here now has other little roots coming off it so it's getting quite an extensive root system and I think we're ready to pot it So I've decided I'm going to grow this one across as opposed to up straight away because if I grow it across and let each node root and just keep growing along the soil I can then propagate more plants because each node would have rooted and I can chop it between the nodes and then have a multi-planted lush plant. So that's my plan. So I've got just this herb planter from Bunnings. This one might actually be a little bit deep because we don't have a lot of root to work with and you generally choose the size of the pot based on the size of the root ball. So I'm just using a mix of orchid bark, potting, just your stock standard cheap potting mix, some perlite and some charcoal. And I'm just going to fill this with that potting mix. So I've filled her up with potting mix. I've set this guy on top um, and I'm just going to cover the roots with soil but I'm going to leave the stem at the top so I'm not going to fully bury the stem in soil. Now I'm just going to water this with some sea salt um, garden health treatment mixed in water and I'm going to let it fully drain out the bottom um, obviously not leaving any of that in the tray or anything like that just let the fluid fully drain make sure that it's got a nice good water and because we're transitioning from water roots to soil roots which is slightly different um, I'm going to need to keep it a bit more damp than usual so for the next two weeks two to three weeks I have to keep the soil quite a bit more moist than I usually would until those roots have transitioned and become soil roots and then I'll just start with the normal watering schedule as I would any other phyllo. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed potting it up with me. Bye guys.